Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane and an unboxing video which I don't do very often uh, but this is an exception, this is an engine I've been waiting for for quite a while, it's been promised for a long time uh, it's not a turbo motive it's uh, actually um, a standard 2MT which I didn't realise uh, was going to be out today just been to WD Models in Chesterfield which is a good model shop which you should check out and um, they'd had these in stock along with the turbo motives um, so it had been pre-ordered so let's have a look at this fresh out today it's the standard packaging as uh, we always get from Hornby um, I could, was kind of expecting this to be a bigger box because I've seen some recent ones in larger boxes but no this is the uh, standard box there's a nice photograph of what you get on the front there this particular one is 78047, which is the late crest version in black. They also do a green one, sound equipped, and early crest, I believe. And there's the uh, part number uh, if you need that. This is the DCC ready version. And as you can see, this is the usual ice cube packaging. This is extremely tight, can't do that with one hand. Looks very nice so far. You get it out of the packaging. You have the usual paperwork, standard 2MT, oiling points, and whatever what details we get. It actually comes with a snow plow, which is different, which looks like it just slots into the front NEM pocket. And yeah, nothing, nothing different there really. The usual thing from Hornby. So you get the brake rods as well. And there's the packets, so I'll have fun fitting those later. You've got a uh, coupling in there. I think that's for the front one. Uh, yep. Yeah. First impressions, very nice indeed. All the lining looks correct, the numbers look nice. This is the late crest version. Nice front number. Steam seems to have a white surround of the front number, which I think is a Scottish thing but uh, we'll get it running on the layout. Looks to be a lot of nice uh, separately fitted detail on this model. It seems to be up to the usual standards. Got the usual pickup connect in there. So it's the mixed traffic lining on this one and it looks really very very nice. So let's give it a little bit of power. And this runs very smoothly. Should be able to get down to a crawl. Straight out of the box, I'm very happy with the way that runs. It'll probably get even better. Now, Backman have done similar ones, although this wasn't the standard version, this was the LMS version. You can see two examples there, these have been out quite a long time, and these are weathered ones. The differences are, mainly visually, the cab, the cab roof is curved on this example, as this was a continuation of the design with some improvements. Um, other than that, I'm sure there are differences, but I'll don't know without looking them up in a book. But it's a different number range to the uh, original LMS versions. One thing I can tell is by the touch it's got a metal boiler. Which adds quite a bit of weight. It's only a small locomotive. So some other details is it does have sprung metal buffers. I say that is a metal boiler. Uh, chimney I think. It's certainly metal down there. I haven't noticed whether it's got a firebox flicker. Let's see if I can tell. It doesn't seem to have, but I can tell. 
nor does it have lights, working lights like the new turbo motive, but that's not a bad thing because this wasn't an express locomotive and you're fixed with one position of the lamps. Doesn't matter with the turbo motive because that was only really run on expressors, so the two lights would be correct. It also has a metal running board which is very good and it's got a nice little flywheel on it because it does um, it coasts to a stop rather than stops immediately. So it hasn't got as many features as some of the more recent uh, examples and models, uh, particularly the turbo motive. And it is a bit highly priced to be honest, it's towards £200. But it is a locomotive that I've um, been wanting for quite a while. So uh, it, it's not a glamorous loco, but it is one that uh, hadn't been covered before uh, in this form, in the standard model. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I really like this model. I think it, it's, a, it's a really good runner and that's the main thing as far as I'm concerned. And it looks really good too. smooth as silk. So thank you very much for watching this short review and I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane. Bye bye for now.